Yes, it's been Roman. It's been in Berlin. <laughs> it's been honestly one of my dreams to come here to Berlin, Germany in general, and finally I am here. So for today, we'll just be visiting Berlin, and I hope you enjoy the tour. So enjoy this magnificent view, and I'll see you soon. Alexanderplatz is the central square of the eastern city center and one of the most important sites of Berlin. The square and its attractions, such as the TV Tower, the World Clock, and the Fountain of Friendship between Nations, are popular with tourists from all around the world. And in recent years, Alexanderplatz has also become one of the city's main addresses for shopping. The Hans and Leighton Bar Association was renamed after Hans Leighton, a German lawyer who opposed the Nazis in political trials before World War II. Kloster in Berlin is the ruins of the Franciscan Monastery Church and it is one of the only architectural monuments from Berlin's founding history which still stands today. It is the last remaining evidence of medieval monastic culture in the city of Berlin. As the first building to be built entirely of brick, the monastery complex of the Franciscan order marks the beginning of the regional brick Gothic architectural style in Berlin. Museum Nikolai Kirsch. Bombing raids in 1944 destroyed the Nikolai Church and district almost completely. If you enter Nikolai Church today, you can once again marvel at the Gothic interior with its distinctive colorful roof. Berliner Dome is one of the main landmarks in Berlin's cityscape, housing the city's most important Protestant church. The history of Berlin's cathedral goes back to the 15th century, and the predecessor buildings were originally part of the Berlin city palace. In the early 19th century, Prussia's leading architect, Karl Friedrich Schinkel, transformed the core church into a neoclassical building.
Fridericus Gilelmus III Studie Antiquitatis Omin Genae und Artium Liberalium Museum was built between 1823 and 1830 by the architect Karl Friedrich Schinkel in a neoclassical architectural style to house the Prussian royal family's art collection. Then, in 1828, Frederick William III donated the museum to study any kind of antiquity and liberal arts. The Neue Wasch is a memorial to the victims of war and tyranny, and Kaffe Kolwitz's famous Speta sculpture, Mother and Her Dead Son, can be found inside. Umboldt Universität opened in 1820, making it the oldest of Berlin's four universities from 1828 until its closure in 1945. It was named Friedrich Wilhelms Universität. During the Cold War, the university found itself in East Berlin and was the de facto split in two when the Free University of Berlin opened in West Berlin. The university received its current name in honor of Alexander and Wilhelm von Humboldt in 1949. We will officially finish our tour at the Berlin Wall behind me because I am super tired. I, I think my time here at Berlin was well spent. I truly enjoyed everything I've seen. The city to me looks quite rich in history, particularly architecture, which is the most fascinating aspect to me personally. Also, I would like to say that uh, I actually had a list, but I didn't quite follow my list because whenever I would be walking, I would see some place that simply fascinated me and I would stop there. I'll be off track. I got my list again and the same thing happens because there's simply too much to see here in Berlin. Nonetheless, if you'd like to see it, I recommend commenting to yourself or just ask some questions and I'll try and answer or revisit. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time. Ciao. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi.